Okay, guys, so as promised, um, here are two more average atomic mass practice problems. So if you read the problem, the first one, um, rhenium, it tells you the mass number of the first isotope, and it tells you its natural abundance, which is 37.40%. So remember with these guys, you have to move the decimal place over two places, because that's the equivalent of dividing by 100. And then for rhenium-187, its natural abundance is 62.60%. Again, move the decimal place over two places. Okay? So um, when you do this, you multiply the mass, so 185 times its natural abundance, which is 0 0.3740. And then you add that to the other mass, which is 187, times 0 0.6260, because that's its natural abundance. So first find the answer. Before you deal with sig figs or anything like that, find the answer. So I got 186.252 AMU, all right? And then you have to deal with sig figs. So if we look here, I do 185 times 0 0.3740. What I got was 69.19 something, 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 okay? Remember, when you're multiplying, you're dealing with the fewest number of sig figs because you're multiplying. So 185 has three sig figs. 0 0.3740 has four sig figs. So your final answer will need three. So there I've got 69.2, three sig figs, awesome. Now I do the same thing for this one. I got 117.062 when I multiplied 187 by 0.6260. This has three sig figs, this has four sig figs, therefore I'm just gonna have it be 117. Now notice I don't use that for my final answer. I'm just using these two numbers to find out how I'm supposed to round it in the very end. So notice, now that I'm adding, I use the fewest number of decimal places, so it should be 69.2, which has one decimal place. 117 has no decimal places, so my final answer should just have no decimal places, which is what I did, 186.2 rounds to 186, which has no decimal places. Okay, a lot of the time, guys, it might have a decimal place, and I'll try and get one of those on the test. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work, we'll see. But Remember to write, a, uh, write the answer that is unrounded because this is what makes sense for these problems. This is unrounded, right? But if you notice, putting it as 186, that's a lot of rounding. That is basically saying that there's an equal amount of 187 and 185, which is not the case at all. So just be careful, write the two of them. The rounding for these problems is funky, but I just want to make sure you're able to do it. Let's do this one now. Same thing, guys. You've got to move the decimal place over two places. So if I move it over one two places because this is 0.01%, that becomes 0 0.0001. So I multiply 234 by its percent abundance, add that to 235 times its percent abundance, which is move the decimal place over one, two spots, 0 0.0071, add that to 238 times its percent abundance, which is 0 0.99, because I move the decimal place over one, two spots, and I get my final answer once I add them all together. Okay, remember to add AMU at the end because you've got to have units. Those are the units for the mass of an atom. Now I'm going to go back and check for sig figs. So 234 times 0 0.0001 is 0 0.0234. Now be careful, this is three sig figs, this only has one sig fig, therefore this is going to be 0 0.02 because that has one sig fig. 235 times 0 0.0071, this has two sig figs, this has three. So my final answer, even though this is what I got when I multiplied it, needs to be 1.7. Here, this has three sig figs, this has four, so my final answer needs three, so it's going to be just 236. Okay, so notice this has two decimal places, because I'm adding now. Two decimal places, one decimal place, no decimal places. So my final answer, I need to round to 238, so it has no decimal places. Okay, so make sure, again, to show both answers, because this is the most accurate answer, but this is the rounded answer, which I also need to see.